Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics A2. This is Drake Lord 56, the hero you're better off without. Well, check this out. Something new opened up in the Nestle Passage. The hole right down to the earth, and people are a little bit too afraid to actually check it out. Well, we're fool enough to do such a stupid thing. Let's go, shall we? Going on. And, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for a, a bunch of, um, other missions to come up so I can complete them and, and those that I can actually show you, but in the meantime, let's do this, shall we? Unplumbed Depths. Just think, we're standing somewhere no one else has ever been bef before. Well, the, the Yog, Yog Zalea, that's something is, that nobody really likes to go with. This place. Look, over there. What you looking at? Oh, a treasure chest. In the midst of... Uh, a few monsters, looks like. My instincts aren't half bad, if I do say so myself. Up, oh, they woke up. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Adele? Me? I didn't do anything! As soon as you took a step closer, all of those creatures appear near the chest. Really? All of them? Uh, you didn't see the two that were right there? Just saying. I was just standing here the whole time, so it couldn't have been my fault. If you weren't chasing after treasure all the time, this wouldn't have happened. Excuse me? Look who's talking! I can't be held responsible for the doings of every monster we come across. Look, we don't have time to argue about this. Let's take care of these monsters first, okay? But doing so is entirely optional. We can go straight for the treasure chest. But you know what? That's a little bit too boring. Let's fight them all! Now, let's see here, who can we use? Um, yeah, kill us uh, Larea. You know what? No, I, I, since there's a bunch of monsters, I think it's prime time for, uh, for Tracy. Okay, and... Bex. Alright, let's get going. Alright! Can you uh, draw first blood? Oh yes, <laughs> this thing's going down! Okay, nothing to do but to have these guys get into position. down here, but nah, let's actually just get going toward the main group. All of them are, seem to be going that way anyways. Why not? Hey, okay, Sidewinder, uh, this thing. Good chunk of damage there. Go for it. And curve all the way around behind it. 
cool. Seal border? Interesting. What exactly are they guarding? Oh. Oh well, we got a ribbon to replace that. Although I think I'll actually give that ribbon to Larea. Yeah, I somehow got a ribbon from a. Uh... Oh yeah, I, I know where I got that ribbon from. It's from Old Man Boy Boy. What he actually do? What do you actually do for him? Is uh, well, you collect the Wayfarer's notes, and uh, depending how many. You... You give to him and... Holy crap, how many people did she put to sleep and do? Okay, she put... <laughs> she put everybody but Paula and Tracy to sleep. And everybody but Paula and Adele, she doomed. This is gonna suck. But it seems that her uh, her backup seems to have seems to be very not much better as well. And like a Silas is gonna do anything, she doesn't have Ultima shot on her. All right, so let's see. Let's do a bit more damage. So as I was saying, uh. Depending on how, how many uh, Wayfarer's notes you give Old Man Boy Boy, the better re your reward will be. So if you want to collect a, a bunch of ribbons, keep on collecting the Wayfarer notes. And, and you're delivering it to the old man. He seems to have a surplus of them. Somehow. Let's see here. What a sidewinder on who? This could do. Want to make sure that thing doesn't literally blow up in our faces. <laughs> Things are looking grim. Looks like a turn of death is upon us. Oh my god! Bex, Larea, and Zeno are all gonna die this turn! <laughs> I would be more nervous, but. Yeah, Pauline can actually kill everybody here by herself. <laughs> Larea has to sit this one out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and Xena. <laughs> and it looks like Tracy has one more turn before the Pale Rider comes along for her. And here we are with... Pretty much everybody did in no way to actually revive them. Hooray. Alright, let's destroy this thing. Just in case it decides to get lucky with another one of those attacks or skills or whatever the hell that was. Alright. Tracy, uh, let's see here. Who can you take out? This thing will take quite a bit of damage. One shot. Wow, even more than a, I thought it would. <laughs> Alright, finally, Adele's awake. She can actually do something now! Take care of this big guy. Yeah, they'll die now. And let's finish off that the flying eye. The 
Jeez. The only thing's still at full health. Let's see here, full assault. I think that'll do. Okay. And well, as soon as this thing is done with its turn, Tracy's out of commission. been a uh, rather horrible fight. <laughs> okay, Adele, why don't you uh, start working on this thing? Sh uh, that way this thing won't annoy us any further. Yeah. Gigantic laser power. Hmm. How about just reeling? Yeah, that'll do it. Kill it now. See here, how about uh, I'm gonna try to confuse it. And no such luck, it's critical though. Oh no you don't get back here, you son of a bitch. You know what? I'm gonna head set pull and kill that thing, and I'll I'll position Adele right next to the chest. That way, as soon as this thing is done, she can oh, open the thing right up! Down it goes! Well done, Pola! You pretty much carry the entire fight! Alright, let's see what's inside! It's open! Alright! Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's inside? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Paula earned that. <laughs> wow, I didn't. I haven't seen a uh, MVP award that high before. <laughs> What's inside? Silver? Gold? Gems? Come on, tell me! Nothing. Y what? Not a thing! What the hell have we have come here for? Two thirds of us died getting this thing! And all that we get is an empty fucking chest? Why? Complete waste of time! God damn it. There's no treasure, it's empty. No way! Now who's lusting after treasure, huh? So the chest is empty. It's hardly the end of the world. Well, that's true. So, well, now what? Maybe not. But I don't know what the world's coming to if chests and underground tunnels can't be relied on to contain treasure. Yeah, it's a real travesty. Well, at least we did something. 
Well, I don't know about you, but I'm leaving. This calls for some comfort food. Yeah, I think that calls for it. And a bunch of beer. Now you're talking! Huh? Zeno? What's going on here? It's kinda creeping me out. What was that? <sighs> Who's there? I thought you'd recognize yourself. Well, I don't know, but uh, but I don't I don't think it all glows. What? You opened the chest, didn't you? And I came out. Simple. Yeah, over simple. Think of me as the possibilities that sleep within you. Unlocking the chest was just a crude metaphor for unlocking your true potential. Now what? Now for the real magic. Losing your potential was the only was only a formality. A trivial thing. What is this real magic? The power of that potential, however, is beyond your knowing. What? Are you frightened? Just confused, actually. Frightened? Me? What are you? If you're gonna do something, do it and be done with it. As you like, let's be done with it. are a gifted one. You have great powers. Your power is the power of life. Life in all its myriad forms. Life in all its possibilities. It is a great power that can protect not only yourself, but others as well. This power I have given you. Use it wisely. Use it well. Of course I will. It's me after all. Gonna stand there all day? Or are we gonna get out of here and get some grub? Sorry, sorry. I think I've worked up quite an appetite today. And Adele has mastered the final ability of the character of the class, Adelaide. Her own power. This is essentially a regen spell that she can place on herself or on any other unit on the field. And that actually closes out the 
The Gifted One side quest. If the uh, class weren't so underpowered, I'd I'd use it a little bit more. But at this point, we're not we're pretty much done. So if you like this episode, hit the like button, comment on it, and if you want, subscribe. So until next time, see you later.